you want to see something talked about in one of the previous videos about making locks, locking your deer, what you see it. So here, I'm going back to an old rub spot. And you could see, I'm gonna turn it around. You could see how the branches, this was all rubbed up two years ago. Bucks were traveling in and out of here. Our target 11 pointed out, he got 35 yards uh, from, uh, didn't get a shot, was, wasn't able to get a shot on him, but he was hitting this hard and heavy. When it comes to scrapes and rubs, you wanna check them. Sometimes they're community scrapes, sometimes they become active again. Uh, from the previous year, sometimes they don't. Okay, so you check them, you see if there's activity, uh, and then you check around. This is this is the part of the scouting process that's important. Uh, right now we're starting the pre-rut. We're already, we're just in the beginning of the pre-rut. Seeking phase, that's seeking. You know, they're marking their, folks are marking their territory. Who's gonna be the big man on campus? This is when you need to be m making those mock scrapes. Mock rubs are something that you know, not many people have talked about, um, you know, everyone talks about the mock scrapes, no one talks about the mock rubs. But if you're gonna make a mock rub, you get a little buck knife, okay? And you go on an old, and you go, and you take it, and you take the knife, and you just skin it. You just skin the brand. If you wanna use a little scent, use some of your saliva, make sure your breath's not rancid, okay? Um, but besides that, you know, that's how you get bucks curious and into the area. Okay, so I took this knife and as you can see, just scraping it. Almost like, almost like you're peeling a carrot. Okay, take the knife, scrape it, I made another one right there. So, let me show you. That's what you gotta do when you make the mock rubs. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. I'll see you on the next one.